Hey, coffee nerds. So I'm just out here on my bike, you know, taking it out for a spin because I want to show you something. This is the Nano Presso. And today I want to explore why this just might be the best three in one coffee brewer for coffee lovers on the move. So what do I mean by three in one? Well, the Nano Presso, you can actually pick up a few different adapters for the Nano Presso depending on your wants and needs. So this is the base model of the Nano Presso, of course. And then you can even get a little NS adapter, as they call it, for Nespresso capsules. We look right back here. We've got also a Dolce Gusto pod adapter. So we'll allude to that in just a second. But my favorite right here, this is the barista kit. So none of the other Wakaku brewers have this level of versatility switching in and out. And in this video, I want to share with you what application you might use each of these adapters. So let's get right into it. Okay, it's a bit brighter over here. Let's break down the base model Nano Presso. This is the, the Nano in its sort of original format, as you can see, nice, sleek, gray. And if we break it apart, we've got the water tank with a little scoop in here, which will come in handy in a second. We've got a cup that goes on the outside and then all the nitty gritty in here. This is the, the eight gram basket, so you can see here. And let me show you the inside. And this is the, the pressurized nozzle, right? So this is the other side. And so this all goes together. Let's make a quick little brew here to show you how it's done. Now, as much as I love grinding on the spot and bringing my coffee grinder with me to make sure I have the freshest coffee, I do sometimes bring the capsule or the basket in this case pre-packed up in the barista kit extension, which I'll talk about in just a second. So we've got our eight grams of coffee here, and then we're gonna actually use the scoop as a little bit of a tamp, make sure it's all tamped down before we put it into the nano presso. So right on top of the nozzle, and then we're gonna grab the pressurized nozzle, screw that on tight, open up the, the water tank, and now we're gonna need water. A lot of kids running around here today, playing hide and seek. We're gonna play a little game of Mary Poppins here, because this is actually where I keep my hot water as well. Just to let you know, this is the, the fellow Carter mug. It keeps water nice and hot. And I did a few measurements the other day. It went down to around 80 degrees Celsius after two hours. So that's gonna be good. It's, it hasn't been two hours since I left the house. So we're gonna just fill that up and pop it on the bottom of the Nano Presso here. Now we've got our cup. And then this is where the fun little pump action happens, right? So just gonna come pump that through nice and easy with one hand. Usually I pump until all the water's through. That usually gives me a good one to two ratio. Ready to go. And there we go, our nice little single shot espresso. Eight grams in the basket. Mm, around 16 to 20 mils in the cup. So that's the Nano Presso in its base format. Now what I wanna show you is how to use the Nespresso capsule adapter and what kind of application I might find myself in. Go back to our little bag here and I have actually stashed a few capsules in this little canister that I picked up recently while I was in Germany. So these are, these are fully compostable capsules and I literally just picked up this in the grocery store. So I just, I wanted to show you that to, to demonstrate how easy it is to get some nice compostable capsules these days. So as you can see on the inside, there's a few little prongs. So what I do is basically just push that on like this. I'll push it on first, make sure it's nice and firm in there. So we've got the paper on this side. And then, you know, I have this other green cap here as you can see, but you can actually twist the NS adapter off and then push this part out so we can have everything matching. We're gonna put the whole capsule thing right in here and then the adapter is gonna screw on over top. So this has some ridges in it, which helps to puncture through the capsule itself. We're gonna take the original gray nozzle, snap that in, 
and pop it on. So most of you watching are probably thinking, well, I don't really use capsules. I like to grind up my coffee. I like to do the whole coffee nerd thing. But maybe many of you watching are also into the ease of using capsules. And what I love about using capsules, especially while on the bike, is let's say you're riding along and you get to a big hill and you're just like, I need a little shot of coffee before I go up. But I want to finish my ride. I want to get there. And I don't want to stop and grind my coffee and, and weigh everything out and, and pump it through. So you just pop a capsule in, get your hot water one more time, and you're good to go. It's just really, really quick. As I've mentioned in previous videos, you can really start to find uh, some good specialty coffee in capsules these days. And as I just showed you with a compostable capsule, it goes right back into the earth. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments about which capsules you've used or what your opinions are because there's always constant innovation there when it comes to coffee capsules. So let's, uh, let's finish this first little espresso and pump through our capsule coffee. So as you can see, very similar process. We're just gonna squeeze here with one hand. Maybe I'll do a refocus again. It's coming out nice and smooth, nice and steamy. But one thing to keep in mind is that capsules only have five grams of coffee. So it's a few grams less. That's why I might use less water here. But now, mm, after two espressos, I am definitely ready to, to scale that hill. But let me show you very quickly what the capsule looks like and we'll head on to the next brewer. So as you can see, it pushed through quite nicely. Didn't burst, got a few little grounds here, but that was mostly taken care of by our inner nozzle as well. And this all twists out. So you can switch it back to regular regular programming. <laughs> it's got uh, quite a few puncture holes. And now I can even just throw this. No, I'm not gonna throw it in the garden, but I'm gonna throw it in the garbage and not feel bad about, you know, not, have, not recycling properly because it is compostable. Don't eat that. All right, so one last thing I did want to mention very quickly, because some of you may use Dolce Gusto capsules and you found your favorite coffee in there. This is the Dolce Gusto capsule unpackaged. I just, I'm, I don't ever use them, so I didn't want to emphasize it too, too much in the video, but you can use them. Maybe that's, maybe that's your thing. So this is what it looks like. Do a little zoom here. So it's got this little prong, which you would puncture part of the, the capsule here, and then it even has the, the hole <laughs> to, to extract it through. You would just screw that together and put it on top of the Nanopresso, just as you might expect. Boom, there you go. Dolce Gusto. Gusto in your cup. Oop. Nice little Americano. Actually, this thing is really fun to use if you wanna play like water gun with some friends. It squirts really far. I'm glad I had those two espressos. Whew. We're gonna make it. Whew. This is a hot spot here in Barcelona. This is called Mirador de Sarria and it's a beautiful view. It's getting a little bit dark here though, so let's make our last brew of the day, the third method for the Nanopresso, and we'll wrap it up right here above the city. All right, so just to wrap this up, and first of all, I apologize. We are on the edge of a highway, so it might get pretty loud. And apparently it's still cool to rev your motorcycle engine. I don't think I'll ever understand that one, but let's make it through. This is the Nanopresso and our last piece of kit, the barista kit, okay? Give me one second. Awesome, he turned it off. So we're gonna, <laughs> apparently coffee is more important than motorcycles. The barista kit is supposed to allow you to make a double espresso, right? So it's got this double tank and these a double 12 gram espresso basket. So just like the other one, I decided to pre-pack and pre-grind. You know I love bringing my grinder around me, with me everywhere I go, but here we have 12 grams packed in here. And what's nice about the barista kit, the extension, is that it actually comes with a little tamp as well. But it is 
getting a little bit dark and getting a little bit loud. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this and show you how the barista kit turns the nano presso into a lungo machine. Check this out. So now we're gonna put the nozzle back on with the double espresso extension. And I do believe we have just, just enough water and just enough heat left to make us one nice long espresso to enjoy the evening and enjoy the view over Barcelona. So popping this back on, what I love is this big cup. So regardless of whether you like lungos or not, you have this big cup. And then, as usual, we're just gonna press it through. Oh yeah. Obviously the purpose of this extension is also versatility. So how I normally use it is actually just the double espresso basket, the 12 grams, with the original water tank to give me a nice standard espresso. But I wanna hear from you in the comments. Would you rather make a lungo or do you do like me and just make a short espresso the way it's intended and then add water to make it nice and long. This is how I prefer it. It's an Americano. It's not necessarily a filter brew, but that to me is the way that the Nano Presso is the best travel three-in-one brewer. Right up here, <laughs> amongst the chaos, we are drinking a beautiful coffee to give us a little bit more calm here at the end of the evening. So, curious to hear from you. What's your favorite way of making coffee, making espresso on the go? Would you be interested in the Nano Presso? Do you have the Nano Presso? Leave that in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more coffee chaos around the world. Looking forward to see you in the next video. Cheers.